Uh, it was pretty exciting. I think I think on Twitter you could see us all dancing and having a good time. But um, it's a lot more fun than coming into the locker room like at Tulsa and feeling, you know, being so close and feeling defeat, you know. Um, I thought we played a really good game. We finished it. We didn't let them back in the game. And um, it was pretty exciting to see how happy the coaches were and the joy that you saw on the seniors' faces that haven't really experienced anything like that. So um, it makes me happy to see all those guys be happy than, than anything. So. Oh gosh, coach is a terrible dancer. He just needs to stop dancing in general, and uh, let everybody else dance. Cause I thought I was a bad dancer until I saw coach dancing. So. Yeah, no, like you said, we've been putting in the work for a while. And to finally get a win like that, um, it feels amazing, but it's just the start. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't come here to beat Houston one time and and be happy about that, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm not satisfied with – I mean, we're, we're, we're an under 500 team right now still. we got a long ways to go. Um, yeah, it's exciting to beat Houston and be the number 11 team in the country, but you know, we got five more games to get to our ultimate goal. I said that, you know, Saturday after the game. Um, you know, our ultimate goal is to get to a bowl game. Um, we got five more games to, to put ourselves in a position to get there. So uh, that getting to that goal starts this week against Tulane and starts today at practice. Um, I'm really excited to get back out there. Um, I think the guys are too. Um, so I, I expect us to have a good practice today and have a good week of preparation for, uh, for a good Tulane football team. Yeah, no, we worked that play uh, all week. We knew we were going to come to it. Actually, after Braden had that run, I, I think we had a, we called a timeout to get to get to the sideline and come up with a good play. And I knew exactly what Coach Craddock was going to was going to call. I knew exactly what play was coming. Um, and like I said, we worked it all week in practice, and it it worked out exactly like we had planned. Um, I mean, that, I thought. Braden's run right before that play and that play were the two the biggest ga plays of that game, as far as offense as far as offense goes, um, scoring right before halftime to put us up twenty eight to seven. I mean, I mean that that was I feel like that was kind of kind of the breaking point for them, and then to come out and have our defense shut them out to three and out um, in the second half, and then. I mean, I think we all know what happens in the second half. So that was, those are, I think, those are the two biggest plays offensively the whole game. So. What's helped you the most in the, in the games that you started now uh, in terms of game management? And is it getting easier for you? Oh yeah, it's getting a lot easier. I mean, experience is a great learning tool. Um, I thought, you know, my first three starts were were tough, you know, and I and I think I learned a lot from that. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about my coaches and teammates, and um, I, I love each and every one of them for for sticking with me, um, and, and we reap the benefits of it um, Saturday night. So, I mean, there's a lot I can improve on. I got a long ways to go. Um, that's why I'm so excited to get back out to practice um, today. Because I mean, we off offensively we just keep getting better. So I mean, if we can continue to improve every week. I mean, there's no telling how good we could be. So that's 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 what excites me the most. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm ready to get back out to practice today. So. No problem.